Have you ever paused to think, in a world without clocks, how would we measure time? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? We're so enveloped by time in our day-to-day -day lives, with clocks quietly ticking away in the background. They guide us, keep us on track, and help us organize our lives. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we are in a constant dance with time. Let's journey back in time to discover the evolution of the mechanical clock. Our story begins in ancient times, where the first attempts to measure time took place. As far back as the dawn of civilization, humans have sought to understand and track the passage of time. Our ancestors looked to the heavens, observing the sun's movement across the sky, and from this, the sundial was born. This simple device, using the shadow of a gnomon or a vertical stick, allowed people to divide the daytime hours. However, sundials had their limitations. They were at the mercy of the weather, and once the sun had set, they were rendered useless. To overcome these shortcomings, water clocks, or clepsydras, were devised. The earliest water clocks date back to ancient Egypt, around 1500 BC. These timekeepers worked by a slow and steady drip of water from one vessel into another. As the water level rose, the passing hours could be read off, but water clocks too had their limitations. They were not very accurate, and the rate of water flow could change with temperature and pressure. In the quest for a more dependable timekeeper, our ancestors turned to fire. Candle clocks were used in China as early as 520 AD. These candles were marked at intervals, and as the wax melted, the passing hours could be read. Yet, like their predecessors, candle clocks were far from perfect. They were susceptible to drafts and changes in temperature, which could cause the candle to burn faster or slower, affecting their accuracy. These early efforts at timekeeping, though ingenious, were fundamentally flawed. They were all dependent on natural elements, the sun, water, and fire, which were unpredictable and inconsistent. The need for a more reliable, precise way to measure time was clear. This desire for precision and consistency in timekeeping would eventually lead to one of the greatest inventions in human history. But the desire for greater accuracy led to the invention of the mechanical clock. The 14th century marked a turning point in the history of timekeeping with the invention of the mechanical clock. This was a time of great innovation, when the gears of progress began to turn in a literal sense, propelling us into a new era of precision and consistency. The mechanical clock was a game changer, a leap forward in the way we perceive and measure time. Before this invention, timekeeping was a rough art at best, reliant on the position of the sun or the flow of water. But the mechanical clock brought a new level of accuracy that was previously unimaginable. This wasn't just about telling the time. It was about creating a standardized measure of time that everyone could agree on. It was about bringing order to the chaos of daily life. It was about synchronizing human activities, from the ringing of church bells to the opening of marketplaces. The mechanical clock was a marvel of technology for its time. At its heart was the escapement, a clever device that released the clock's gears at a steady rate, allowing for precise timekeeping. This was often powered by a weight on a cord, which would slowly descend and had to be wound back up regularly. These clocks also often featured striking mechanisms, which would chime on the hour, providing an audible reminder of the passage of time. This was particularly important in an era when many people couldn't read, and so couldn't tell the time from a clock face. As the centuries rolled on, the mechanical clock continued to evolve and improve. The pendulum was introduced in the 17th century, providing an even more accurate way to control the movement of the clock's gears. And by the 19th century, spring-driven clocks were becoming common, doing away with the need for weights and cords. The mechanical clock was more than just a practical tool. It was a symbol of human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to harness the natural world and bend it to our will. It was a reminder that time, once a mysterious and intangible concept, could be tamed and measured with precision. The mechanical clock paved the way for a new era of timekeeping. Its invention marked the beginning of a journey that would eventually lead us to the precise electronic clocks of the modern day. But that's a story for another time. As with all technology, the mechanical clock too underwent a series of improvements and advancements. 
From its early inception, the mechanical clock was a marvel of engineering. But as time marched on, so did the clock's evolution and refinement. During the Middle Ages, clocks were massive structures, often built into the architecture of churches or town halls. They were powered by weights and gears, and their accuracy was, well, less than ideal. However, the 17th century brought about a significant leap forward in clock technology with the introduction of the pendulum clock. Invented by Dutch mathematician Christian Huygens, the pendulum clock was a game changer. You see, the magic of the pendulum clock lies in its swinging weight or pendulum. This pendulum swings back and forth in a precise time interval dependent on its length, and with each swing it advances the clock's gears. The consistent swing of the pendulum improved the accuracy of clocks enormously, making them much more reliable for timekeeping. Yet the evolution of the mechanical clock didn't stop there. In the 18th century, another significant advancement was introduced, the balance spring. The balance spring is a delicate coiled wire that, when attached to the balance wheel of a clock, controls the speed at which the gears move. This further improved the accuracy of clocks, enabling them to keep time to within a few minutes a day. With the pendulum and balance spring, the mechanical clock had reached a level of precision previously unimagined. These advancements not only made clocks more practical for everyday use, but also paved the way for the development of pocket watches and wristwatches, bringing timekeeping to the personal level. From massive structures in town squares to personal timepieces worn on the wrist, the mechanical clock had indeed come a long way. Its evolution is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of precision and efficiency. But the greatest revolution in timekeeping was yet to come. Enter the 20th century, the era of electricity and quartz. As we waltz into the 20th century, the mechanical clock had to step aside to make room for its electrifying successor. The first electric clocks emerged, harnessing the power of electricity to keep time with a level of precision that the mechanical clock could never achieve. These clocks used a small electric motor to drive the clock hands, eliminating the need for winding and improving the ease of use for the everyday person. But the revolution did not stop there. The mid-20th century saw the rise of the quartz clock, a marvel of modern engineering. Here, a tiny piece of quartz crystal was put to work. When electricity was passed through the crystal, it vibrated at a remarkably steady frequency. This frequency, once harnessed and counted, provided a timekeeping method that was even more accurate than the electric clock. With this newfound precision, quartz clocks quickly became the timekeeping standard. They were smaller, more reliable and more affordable than their mechanical and electric predecessors. Just think about it. A sliver of crystal, vibrating over 32,000 times per second, is what enables us to keep track of our days with such extraordinary precision. Moreover, these advancements paved the way for clocks to find a home in nearly every device we use today. Your smartphone, your computer, even your microwave, all employ the principles of quartz timekeeping to ensure that you're always on track always in sync with the rhythm of the world. In blink of an eye, we've journeyed from the dawn of timekeeping through the gears and springs of the mechanical clock to the humming vibrations of a quartz crystal. Each step forward, each innovation has brought us closer to the ideal of perfect timekeeping. Today, we take for granted the precise timekeeping that our ancestors could only dream of. Our days are punctuated by the silent tick of quartz, the invisible pulse of electricity a testament to the human fascination with capturing and measuring the passage of time. We've come a long way since the sundial. From the hallowed halls of academia to the bustling city streets, from the precise operations of space missions to the rhythmic beat of our daily lives, clocks are an essential and often overlooked part of our modern day world. Our lives are orchestrated by the ticking of clocks. They regulate our waking and sleeping, our working and playing, even our eating. The world as we know it would be in disarray without the organization that clocks provide. They are the conductors of our social symphony, ensuring that each section comes in at the right time, creating harmony out of potential chaos. Beyond our personal lives, clocks also keep the world running on time. They enable our modern infrastructure to function, coordinating everything from train schedules to internet data transfers. They're the heart of our global economy, allowing financial transactions to occur across different time zones and ensuring that stock markets open and close when they should. 
But perhaps most importantly, clocks are a testament to human ingenuity. They're a physical manifestation of our quest to understand and quantify the passage of time, a journey that has taken us from the simple sundial to the atomic clock, with the power to measure time to the billionth of a second. So next time you glance at a clock, remember the centuries of innovation that have gone into that simple yet crucial device. Isn't it fascinating how far we've come? From observing the sun's shadow to harnessing the power of atoms, human ingenuity has truly transformed our understanding of time. But this journey doesn't end here. As we continue to innovate and explore, who knows what the future of timekeeping holds? Perhaps one day, we'll be measuring time in quantum particles, or even in dimensions yet undiscovered. If you've enjoyed this journey through time and want to continue exploring the fascinating intersections of history, science and technology, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Join us as we delve into more interesting topics, uncovering the stories behind the everyday objects that shape our world. Remember, every tick of the clock is a testament to human curiosity and innovation. So, let's continue this journey together, one tick at a time.